Chris Hot Rods Muscle Car and Collector Car Showroom, where we own all of our vehicles. We are not a consignment dealer. If you are watching today's presentation on YouTube, please be sure to check out our website, which is hangsters.com. It's where you can find all of our most current inventory. Our YouTube videos, we never take down. We leave them up whether they were shot three days ago or three years ago. However, when a unit is funded in full, that particular vehicle comes down off of our website, letting you know that it's no longer available for sale. Hangstersgarage.com. Not only do we sell automotive parts and accessories and ship them all over the United States, but we also install them. Wheel and tire packages, vintage air, uh, front disc brake conversions, four wheel disc brake conversions, power steering, uh, lift kits for trucks and Jeeps. You get the idea. We can uh, do all that for you prior to your vehicle shipping if you're buying one from us. And of course, if you're just looking to have the work done on your own classic car or truck or Jeep, uh, stop into our Ridgewood facility in South Daytona located at 2385 South Ridgewood, hangstersgarage.com. There's also a link to the garage on our website at the taskbar at the top in gray. Monte Carlos we do very well with here in Daytona. And uh, today we have a 1987 Aero Coupe to uh, present. So let's take a look. 5.0, uh, power steering, power brakes, AC. Uh, the car is very well cared for. <clears throat> it's an original miles car. I don't remember off the top of my head. Uh, we've gotten a lot of original mile cars in lately, and I can't keep them all straight. So we'll take a look on the test drive uh, and see what the mileage is. But I know it's a nice low mile uh, car. Again, 5.0 steering brakes and air. Maroon in color. It is an aero coupe, uh, so it does have the uh, slanted rear window. Uh, overall paint quality on the car is really nice. I believe uh, the car to be mostly, if not all, uh, original paint, uh, but I don't have any documentation as to the paint history. Um, so what we know in the uh, video presentation here is uh, what we can tell you is uh, what we know in the, in the video. Uh, hood, let's take a look at that. Um, there's no spider web, blistering, cracking, anything. The uh, hood presents itself uh, fairly nicely up front there. The uh, nose cone or the uh, front fascia is uh, fiberglass. Uh, overall, pretty good appearance. Your pinstriping is good. Uh, your lower portion of your uh, spoiler is good. There is a, a tiny crack right there. Okay, and then you have your typical, you know, little tiny uh, chips or whatnot up front. But take a look at the still photos. Take a look at this video presentation. Overall, the car is in really, really good shape for being uh, as old as it is. How about the uh, front fender? So we're going to look at that as well. Again, the pinstriping is in nice condition. Uh, it runs along the entire length of the car, starts on the fender, uh, continues on the driver door, and then, of course, on the rear quarter and above your uh, wheel wells. Mastercraft raised white letter tires. Radials, of course. Your uh, lug nuts look good. Your wheels look good. Chevrolet emblem in the center looks good. It's not faded. <clears throat> While we're down here, you can see that the uh, paint on the lower portion of the front fender and the ground effects. And then uh, behind the uh, rear wheel, everything looks to be in good condition. Take a look at our... Uh, glass all the way around the car. We'll start, of course, with the front windshield. Everything looks to be in pretty good shape. I do not see anything cracked, chipped um, in the front windshield. Car has uh, dual mirrors, one on the driver door, one on the passenger door, painted the same color as the vehicle. Uh, clean Carfax on the car, and again, a low miles car. I believe that, you know, every portion of the car in terms of uh, metal, you know, front fender, driver door, rear quarters, everything's original. So your door fitment's real nice to the front fender, to the rear quarter. Uh, everything's factory. Uh, SS Monte Carlo there on the driver door in the front. Paint low on the door, in nice shape. Same thing in the center of the door. Everything looks to be in good condition. Um, door handles, you know, Monty's have the, uh, this, this vintage, well, actually, all the Monty's have real long, uh, heavy doors. Uh, these doors both open and close with ease. 
Uh, door panel is in pretty nice shape. Uh, again, a long door panel. So you have your cloth material up top. I don't see anything faded or uh, stained or, or, or torn. Uh, the vinyl armrest is in good condition. Your lower portion of the door panel is carpeted. Looks like it's in good shape. Take a look in the uh, rear of the car. Does have uh, rear seat belts, cloth interiors in nice shape. Uh, floor mats are brand new. Uh, the carpeting does look to be original. It does show some signs of uh, age, very, very uh, slight. You know, a little bit of discoloration. Um, nothing torn or, or excessively worn. Uh, let's see here. Let's see if we can put the driver's seat back just a little bit. Again, the uh, carpeting in the front on the driver's side, you know, this would obviously be the most stained or uh, worn or torn because there's always a driver in the car when the car's in motion. Uh, looks pretty good. The uh, SS Monty mats, brand new. This car did not have floor mats in it, so we put a set of floor mats in it. Uh, driver's seat looks to be in pretty good shape overall. Uh, the None of the cloth is torn. Uh, cushion's good. Uh, has a little... It's not torn, but, you know, little threads there from where, you know, the driver's getting in and out of the, the seat, obviously. Uh, again, it's, it's not ripped, so uh, it's in, overall in, in pretty good shape there. Headliner's original factory headliner. That's in good condition as well. We'll show you a closer look at the interior when we're in, in the car doing the test drive. I'll paint up on the roof. Also in good condition. Again, no clear coat fade, uh, no blistering, cracking, bubbling. Everything looks good. Uh, it's the same as you continue to drop down to the rear quarter. Again, the body lines, take a look down the side of the vehicle. The body lines are nice. Uh, the uh, quarter, the driver door, the front fender, everything lines up nicely. You got that cool Aero Coupe rear window. Uh, it does have a rear window defrost. Huge uh, hat rack there in the back. Looks to uh, be in nice shape. Of course, in the center of the uh, rear window, you have your third brake light. On your deck lid, you have a little spoiler there. Deck lid fitment is good to the rear quarters and the, uh, the paint looks to be good both on the spoiler and on the deck lid itself. You have your SS Monte Carlo badging on the driver's side of the deck lid. A red uh, Chevy bow tie emblem right above the lock cylinder to pop the uh, trunk. Your tail lights, reverse lights look to be in good shape. Uh, the rear bumper does have two uh, faint stains on it or something got splashed on it or discolored the bumper in some way. Pinstriping on the rear fascia looks good as well. It's not uh, peeling off, not torn, not faded. So that looks to be in uh, good shape. Take a look in the trunk. Uh, you do have a uh, little donut spare over there on the uh, passenger side. Trunk mat. A little uh, light there to illuminate the uh, trunk. We'll show you if I can get my fingernails under this trunk mat. Uh, trunk's in pretty good shape. Again, not uh, rusted, rotted. Hood shocks, or deck lid shocks, I guess I should say, hold the, uh, hold the trunk up. <coughs> now we look down the passenger side of the car. Uh, same as the driver's side, uh, car's in good shape. Down low, there's no uh, paint blisters, bubbles, cracks. Your pinstriping on the passenger side mirrors the driver's side. All the pinstriping on the car looks to be in pretty good shape. Uh, your rear quarter here, uh, nothing going on in terms of uh, any kind of paint bubbles, cracks, imperfections. Uh, looks pretty good. So again, you got that large Monte Carlo door on the passenger side. Again, door fitment, uh, both driver and passenger, is nice on the vehicle. Uh, the door panel itself, you know, you have that 
Big, big door panel calls for a big uh, door panel pull, and that's in good shape. Caps are there. Armrest isn't torn. Uh, power windows, power locks, we'll uh, check those on the test drive. Uh, is an automatic car, center console uh, on the floor. Uh, original factory radio, we'll see if that works when we're on the test drive. Passenger seat looks the same as the driver's seat. You know, in good shape. It's not discolored. It's not torn up. The uh, courtesy lights illuminate in the floor when you open up the door. So one last time, we'll take a look at door fitment. So notice the uh, corner of the door to not only the uh, rocker, but also to the rear quarter. Uh, nice gaps on your doors, uh, both to the front fender and to the rear quarter. Uh, your SS Monte Carlo badging there on the passenger doors in nice condition. All your pinstripe looks good. As far as the wheels are concerned, you know, take a look at them on the website. There's up close still photos of the wheels on the website. Raised white letter master crafts. Um, all uh, four wheels look to be in pretty pretty good condition um, from my perspective. The uh, Front fender on the passenger side, same as the driver. You know, it's 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 nice both in the center and down low. Front grill's all in one piece. I don't see anything broken or cracked there. It's not faded. Cool car. Um, maroon Aero Coupe. We haven't had an Aero Coupe in a while. We just had uh, the standard Monty. So this is a. Uh, this is going to be a cool car for us to sell, uh, present, photograph, talk to customers about. Um, real nice, nice vehicle. I do encourage you guys to come in person to check out whatever piece of our inventory that you might be interested in. We will gladly pull it outside for you. We'll let you take a look at the paint and the sunshine. We'll put it on the rack like we're going to do here with this uh, Monty in just a couple minutes. Check out the undercarriage, floor pans, tires, suspension components, bottom of the motor, transmission. We'll let you drive it. You can see how the car accelerates, how the training shifts, um, how the ride feels, how the steering feels, if there's any tire vibration, any kind of noise in the uh, <clears throat> interior of the car that maybe you don't like. We do it here on a daily basis and uh, we enjoy doing it, presenting our, our, our inventory. We have a beautiful facility here in Daytona with anywhere from 60 to 70 cars on hand at any time and we'd be happy to show you this Monty or any other piece of inventory you might be interested in. We encourage you to come in person, especially if it's your first classic car purchase. These cars, you know, they're 20, 30, 40, 50 years old. Uh, they're all going to have deficiencies, flaws, weaknesses. Um, we try to give you a quick 20 to 25 minute video presentation to put you as up close and personal to the car as we possibly can. But uh, nobody's a better judge of how to spend your hard-earned money than you are. This is why we encourage you guys to come in person. We are, at the end of the day, an internet-based business. We do the majority of our sales sight unseen, which is why we spend so much time photographing each car, video, doing videos on each car, uh, talking on the phone to people on, on, on a particular unit, you know, sending additional photographs, additional videos, emailing back and forth, texting back and forth, you know, because we do the majority of our sales sight unseen. But uh, you know, we do, like we say uh, in, in every one of our videos, encourage you guys to come in person look at the car for yourself. This way, when the car shows up, wherever you might be located at in the United States or in the world, there's no surprises because you were here and went over the vehicle yourself in its entirety. Let's take this uh, Monte Carlo outside, we'll throw it in the air, check out the undercarriage, and then we'll do a short, drive, short test drive presentation in the vehicle and show you all the interior components as well as how the vehicle uh, runs. Underneath our 1987 Chevy Monte Carlo, you have disc brakes up front. Bottom of the 305, uh, not much I can see, so I'm sure you guys can't see much either. Um, it's got an exhaust pipe, oil filter, tranny pan, or a uh, starter, uh, exhaust pipe. So, uh, you know, I don't see anything dripping down. The uh, flywheel is covered. Uh, you have exhaust manifolds uh, coming off the side of the driver, driver's side of the motor, passenger side of the motor going into a single exhaust and then it's going to uh, break back out, wide back out into two uh, dual mufflers. We'll show you here in just a, a little bit. 
So the uh, transmission pan, you can see that, that's fully exposed and that looks nice and dry. Our uh, usual, usual problematic areas are the pan gasket, which looks fantastic on this car. Uh, speedo cable, uh, it's not dripping, not wet at all. Um, tail shaft seal looks dry. So uh, tranny's good, nice and sealed at this time. Uh, I told you it is a low miles, uh, no accidents, uh, all original car. So it is the factory floor pans. Driver's side, passenger side, they are all one piece. Frame rails look good on the car, passenger side and driver's side. We have our lifts sitting on uh, the frame rail, so those are nice and solid. There is a cross member that runs from the driver side frame rail to the passenger side frame rail to support up the uh, rear of the transmission. That's all nice and solid as well. Catalytic converter um, and the exhaust itself. I don't see any rust holes, rod holes, pin holes. Uh, it all looks solid. Uh, dual mufflers on either side of the drive shaft. Those things, there's no name brand on them. I don't know if, uh, I don't see any General Motors uh, stamping either so um, those might not be the uh, original it might not be the original exhaust at least from the cat back you know it might be a new set of mufflers uh, mufflers have a tendency to hold uh, you know condensation and they get little uh, rust holes in them so uh, these ones look good uh, both driver and passenger it is a drum brake car in the rear um, so your spare tire compartment here right above my head we showed you that in the showroom in the trunk, and then the uh, gas tank looks to be in good shape. Uh, tread on your tires on the Mastercrafts, good. Your wear bars are way down inside the tread. Uh, tread's not dry rotted or cracked uh, in the center. Pretty good looking car, 1987 Monte Carlo Aero Coupe. We are going to drop it down on the ground and we're going to take it out on a test drive. But before we do that, I'd like to discuss your payment options with you. If you are a cash buyer, we accept cashier's check from your bank. Uh, the more common form of payment in our business is bank wire transfer. Uh, even if you're not, you know, even if you are coming to see us in person, uh, bank wire transfer puts the funds there the same day. There's no paper or waiting for checks to clear, and then we can start preparing your vehicle for shipment that much sooner. If you're financing, we have three different collector car lenders we work with that will offer you terms on this car, a five to ten year term on our classic vehicles. 10% down is going to be your minimum, so if you're talking about a $50,000 car, it's five grand out of pocket, and then the remaining balance over that five to ten year period, whatever you're approved for. You can do more down if you'd like to, but the lenders are going to require a minimum of 10%. Once the vehicle is funded in full, no matter if you are cash or financing, we put the car through a pre-delivery inspection process. We go through, check tire pressure, torque lug nuts, make sure the AC is blowing cold if equipped, you know, brake light check, tail light check, uh, reverse lights, wipers, you get the idea. They're old cars, anything can start leaking, anything can stop working at any given time. Therefore, we put the car through one last shakedown prior to it leaving our facility for you. Once the vehicle's through inspection, we call a carrier for pickup. Generally, we can have a truck here within 48 hours. However, if you're in a more rural or remote destination, it might be just a little longer. But I promise you, once we're funded, we work quickly. Uh, we know you're excited to get your car. We're excited to sell it to you, and uh, we'll get it there just as soon as possible. The whole process works a lot quicker than you might think. Let's set this car down on the ground. I'll take it out on a test drive and show you guys how the vehicle runs out. Okay, inside our 87 Monty. Where do we want to start? A lot of stuff to show you on this car. First of all, uh, power windows. They both work. That's driver's side. Passenger side. Leave the passenger side cracked just a little bit. Uh, it's a nice day here in Daytona, so we're going to do the window down test drive. Uh, tilt wheel. 22,147 is the actual miles on the car. I told you guys the mileage was low. Um, fuel gauge works battery voltage, temperature, and oil, they all function. Tack works. Turn signals while we're there. Driver. Passenger. Um, wipers. Boop. 
horn was working. It's not now, so not sure. Looks like our horn pad might be a little loose. We'll make sure you have a working horn before it leaves, I do promise. Uh, AC does work. Set it to max. There's your uh, blower. And it is blowing cold. Like I said, no AC today with our uh, presentation. Power um, to the radio works. I remember these things, man. My, my father drove nothing but General Motors, so I grew up with these AC Delco radios. Lifetime parts and labor warranty. But not only does the radio work, but it sounds good. Uh, I don't know if the tape deck works because I don't have a tape, so we will uh, check that out on the uh, on the test drive. Or <laughs> check that out on the test drive. I don't have a tape, so we can't check that out on the test drive. Sorry. Um, what else? Uh, rear window defrost. Not going to be able to show you that it does function, but it does function. We don't have any frost on the rear window. Did I show you door locks? Door locks work. Uh, headliner appears to be original. I don't know if these, yeah, these little reading lights work too. That's cool. Uh, those work. Center console's in good condition. Uh, all of your uh, bezel around your radio and your AC heat controls there, that all uh, looks good. Um, clarity out of the bezel to the, your, uh, you know, tack, speedo, fuel gauge, that all works, looks good. Um, dash pad. The entire car internally and externally is in, uh, is in really nice shape for, you know, very well preserved, low miles, clean Carfax, uh, 87 Monte Carlo Aero Coupe. Let's take it on a little test drive and show you guys how the car runs. Fantastic car. This car rides amazing. Real nice, smooth ride. Speedo's working, and it's accurate, as you might expect out of a 22,000 mile car. Vehicle tracks down the road nice and straight. Steering is absolutely fantastic. Uh, real nice tight steering. Again, a real smooth ride. Uh, no vibrations uh, out of the tires, out of the motor. Uh, the car has good acceleration, you know, it's only a 305, so, you know, it's not a hot rod, but... Uh, it, it rides real nice. Idles real nice. Uh, we'll keep an eye on our temp gauge here. We'll be coming up to a traffic light here. And at the very least, we will have to slow down and make the turn. So we'll see if the brakes have any kind of vibration or pulsation. Nobody behind me. Look at that. Brakes work fantastic. No vibrating. pulsation our temp is coming up uh, we are you know I don't know 130 140 again not real hot here in Daytona today and we haven't been running too long but uh, we'll take it up through a few gears here car shift perfect I'm sure you can't hear, I can barely hear it. I'm sitting in it, so I doubt you can hear it in the video, but we're just under 55 miles per hour. About 10 over the speed limit right now. So 55, let go of the wheel. Car's tracking perfect. Again, no vibration side to side, no vibration up and down. Nice and quiet in the interior of the car. Clarity out of the front windshield's fantastic. Acceleration's good, temp's good, ride's good. 1987 Chevy Monte Carlo Aero Coupe. Nice car. Nice color. Interior's beautiful. Everything's working except the horn, and we'll get that working. It's got to be something simple because we had it yesterday. We don't have it today, so maybe when they were detailing it, they bumped something. Who knows? We'll get it back. Again, our temp's good, car stopping, fantastic. Look, no, no pulsation whatsoever. Uh, stops nice and straight, doesn't yank you to one side or the other. That's telling you that both calipers are putting out uh, equal pressure. Good stuff. Turn signal works. 386-944-9219 is our contact phone here in Daytona Beach. Hankster's.com is our website. 
where you'll be able to find all the photos of this vehicle today along with this video presentation that you are watching right now. At full retail price, this car includes shipping in the lower 48 United States on an enclosed carrier. It also includes a powertrain warranty. That warranty is good on internal components of the engine, the transmission, and the rear end. It does not cover brakes, starters, batteries, alternators, oil leaks. I think you get the idea. It covers major mechanical breakdowns. Again, internal components of the drivetrain. Is the price of the car negotiable? It is somewhat negotiable. However, if we negotiate the price of the vehicle, the warranty comes off. The warranty is good at full retail price only. The shipping also comes off. Time is money. So at full retail price, we handle the shipping logistics. We call the carrier. We book the appointment. We make the payment to the driver. Uh, we arrange the pickup. We arrange the drop off. Uh, at a negotiated price, we can put you in touch with a broker who can help you with all of your shipping accommodations. You can choose open or enclosed shipping, um, and then you can pay the driver on delivery. Of course, if you're a car collector, maybe you have your own trailer, you want to come get it yourself, you can do that as well. No problem there. We, uh, we don't make any money off the shipping. We simply provide it as a convenience to our buyers. And of course, if you're local to us here in Daytona, you want to drive this 87 Monty home, you can do that as well. I mean, I... If it were my car, I'd try to keep the mileage as low as possible, but uh, you know that's up to you. Once you own it, you do what you uh, would like with it. Hexter's Hot Rods is located in Central Florida, Daytona Beach, and once again, our website is hexters.com. Check us out.